Skypath is a step closer to coming to Auckland. My name is Janet Miller. In spite of a spirited opposition, the independent commissioners have delivered the resource consent and must be held responsible now for anything that goes wrong. Auckland and the world have been sold a dream. Like the Greeks bearing gifts, the gift is not quite what it seems. Soon Auckland ratepayers will be underwriting this commercial project with the mayor and some of the councillors helping him. The Sky Park Company will be compensated by the Auckland ratepayers if the patronage numbers don't meet the expectations set out in the Auckland City Council's research documents. The expectations are colossal. The number visiting Sky Park would rival the London Eye, and if they don't turn up as expected, the Auckland ratepayer pays up. The Auckland ratepayer is also going to have to pay for the infrastructure, because Sky Path is going to be built without any notion of how it is actually going to work in practice. And the commissioners have decided that it is up to the citizens of Northcote Point who are going to be left to work out how to fit in the 18,000 predicted each summer weekend between noon and 3pm. The bill for all this could well be over 100 million, paid by the ratepayer, who will probably never use it. However, the research document could be right, and the huge crowds might materialise. And it is this issue that I find so unacceptable and so dangerous that I made a 15-minute video to show the commissioners just what a crowd of 20,000 looks like. And in fact, what a crowd of just 3,000 looks like. In no way could this number be described as moderate, as the commissioners did. I have vast experience of dealing with crowds. There is very little research at the moment into handling crowds, except it is known they can be unpredictable. And in fact, no research at all into shared footpaths for cyclists and pedestrians, other than they don't mix. In the UK, they are illegal because they are dangerous. Cyclists are classed as vehicles there, as they can just as well kill a pedestrian as cars can kill cyclists. But there is knowledge of what uncontrolled crowds can do, and skypath crowds will be left to their own devices. I have experienced the horror of an angry 2,800 audience who felt their needs were not being met, and I felt the commissioners should be aware of the problems and mitigate at least some of the glaring issues. My video was met with stunned silence and has made absolutely no impression. The press missed it, and the decision document says the video addressed issues of whether the facility will be safe for users. Which is the understatement of the year? For the consent, I could use any images I chose, but for YouTube, I can't. I must own or have permission to use any content. But I can show you what the commissioners and the press don't want Auckland to see, for the design of Skypath, as it stands, looks dangerous and untested, and personally, I think it is a death trap. So what is Auckland getting? Skypath is just a one kilometre enclosed, four metre wide tunnel. That's the same as the pavements on Auckland's Queen Street for 2,000 mixed pedestrians and cyclists going both ways with no median barrier. Skypath has only two entrances, which are about five metres wide each, which are blocked by unmanned turnstiles and that have gradients running down onto them. Once in this one kilometre tunnel, you are caged, and there is no way out or help can arrive in an emergency if the tunnel gets blocked. The commissioners, and indeed all of New Zealand Transport and Auckland Transport, 
think this is acceptable. Although they know that there is no research into a shared pathway of this major type. There is also the problem of human panic in enclosed spaces, which has not been addressed. People panic. A mast can hit the bridge. They often do. Ask the insurance companies and the sailing clubs. Or the fire that broke out on the bridge just recently. It's the problem of human stampede that they really found hard to address. And it is. It is as if panic could never happen here in Auckland. But it can. And if one happens in the middle of the bridge, it could spell disaster, for there is no way of getting to the victims quickly. To demonstrate what a human stampede looked like, I showed them one. The commissioners must know because they're responsible to see that this doesn't happen to Auckland. They know now and have done nothing. Not even to remove the blocked exits or see that enough fire engines and ambulances can access the Northcote Point terminal. To ignore the problem is to deserve the disaster. The pictures are not pleasant, so if you're of a nervous disposition, look away. But until this problem of speedy evacuation is addressed, would you use Skypath on a sunny Saturday afternoon? <laughs>